what's going on guys I'd like to take a second to talk to you guys about a discord channel and a reddit page that I've been a part of for the last couple months there will be links for both of them down in the description below beginning this month July of 2019 we are going to start doing a profile of the month competition each month we'll be setting out a certain set of criteria that each person submitting a profile must follow. And at the end of each month, there's a panel of about five people that are going to choose who the winner is. I will be having a video showcasing who the winner is and what their profile looks like. So make sure you go and check out the Discord channel and or the Reddit page. You'll find lots of awesome things on there such as help sections, profile requests, where you can submit profile of the month, and much, much more. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys have to offer as far as custom keyboard lighting. For today's video, tomorrow is going to be the 4th of July, so I decided to make a profile that's going to be related to that. So what better to showcase than some fireworks? As always, there will be a link in the description below for this keyboard lighting design, but if you want to see exactly how I did it, and maybe get some tips that could help you out with your profile of the month submission, then stay tuned, I'm going to show you just that. This is Fireworks. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of the fireworks and it should allow you to do the rest from that point. So with our wave selected, we're gonna select all of our Razer keyboard lighting. Click on your color dropdown, choose a three tone color gradient. In the middle, we're gonna do blue and we're going to make it really dark. And the left and right nodes, we're gonna make this pink color and we're gonna drag that really dark as well. So once you have your color here, copy it and paste the same code on the right node. So here in the display, it basically doesn't really show you much lighting, but on your keyboard, you can actually see the lighting. So that's all we're gonna do for our background. Now I'm gonna do the very first firework. Click on the wave to add a new wave effect layer. And we're gonna name this wave yellow. And what we're gonna do is we're going to select our right alt key and we're gonna click our color drop down, and we're gonna choose a three tone color gradient. We're gonna click on our left node here and we're gonna make it invisible. And we're gonna just drag this really close to the middle. We're gonna click on this middle node and we're going to make this white. And with the right node, we're gonna make that invisible as well. And we're just going to bring that in close as well. So you have all three nodes clinch together here. I'm going to click off and I'm going to make my speed 10. My width percentage I'm going to make 400 which is the maximum. We can leave our angle at 90 degrees. Everything else can stay the same and we'll hit save. I'm going to make sure that I have this key selected so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to control C to copy and I'm going to go to the key right above it and I'm going to control V to paste that effect in there. Click on your color drop down, and I'm just going to slide this left node over. Click on the white node and hit the addition symbol that copies that one. And just drag this new node all the way over and make your original white node invisible. And then you can delete your right node. And then just bring this one right back over. What this does is it slowly moves your wave pattern to the left. That way you can make sequence of events or sequence of lighting happen on your keyboard. The first key will light up and then slightly after that, the second key will light up. It looks good, I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna do the same thing again, copy this lighting effect and I'm gonna paste it right in above that. Click on your color drop down, do the same thing. Slide that over, copy your middle white node, make your original invisible delete the right one and snug that in just like that. That looks good. I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just slowly stepping it over one at a time. Okay, so now with this number nine key, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this over and I'm going to erase the original white with an invisible. But this time I'm not going to close this all the way in yet. And what that's going to allow it to do is 
when the lighting gets to that one it'll show this key for a little bit little while as it fades out and I'm actually going to use this exact effect just with a different color to create the firework effect. You have an invisible node, a bit of a space here, and then you have a white node and an invisible node. So I'm gonna keep this just like this and I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna copy the effect that I have in this nine key. And I'm gonna make the branches for my firework. So I'm gonna hold control and I'm just gonna start selecting some branches for my firework explosion. So that looks good to me for my yellow. I'm going to paste in my effect from that nine key. Click on my color drop down, and I'm gonna change the white node to yellow. And I'm not gonna keep it yellow. I think I'm gonna drag it over here a little bit, make it a little more orangey yellow, something like this right here. I'm just going to check that split button. And now everything should be in sync and we should have what looks like a firework effect in the middle of our keyboard. There we go. So that's a yellow. Now I'm gonna show you what you do when you make one more. If you have additional Razer keyboard lighting devices and you want the other keyboard lighting devices to light up yellow with your firework explosion, click on your yellow effect and copy it. And you're just gonna paste this over whatever lighting that you want to have that effect. So I'm going to light up my mouse. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna have my speakers light up as well and I'm gonna have my keypad light up. So I'm going to paste this effect in here and I'm gonna keep everything the same except for I'm gonna click on my color gradient drop down, and I'm gonna click on my yellow node here and I'm just gonna change the very last digit by one. So it was a one, I'm just gonna change it to a two. And with my extra peripherals, I just added on the LED strip as well. So. Um, it'll light up the background of my computer desk as well with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another color. So I'm going to just take this yellow layer, right click and duplicate that layer. And I'm going to name this new layer red. I'll make this one red. So I'm going to click on my new effect layer and I'm going to copy this bottom effect that I have for here. And I'm going to paste it right here on the down key. After I've done that, I'm just gonna select all these keys over here in the middle and hit the delete key. Right now, this key is going in sync with the yellow one. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just offset this a little bit from my yellow. So I'm just gonna slide this down here to the left a bit. Now this is going to be the beginning of my red firework. So my yellow one will go off and then my red will follow it. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. After we've slid that down the bar, I'm gonna copy it and paste it right above. Do the same thing where you move that over, repeat your white light there, make that invisible, and delete. And you're gonna do the same exact thing for the red that you did for the yellow. It's just gonna be in a different place on your color gradient bar. All right guys, so here you can see I've already added the red, so the yellow will go up, it'll explode, the red will go up shortly after, and it will explode as well. So you just keep doing this and you stagger your fireworks slowly in a different spot on the gradient bar and eventually you'll have different fireworks exploding. And now I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward to show you guys the reactive, how I did that. Here you can see guys, I've added a total of four colors. So I have my yellow, red, and then I added a green and a blue. And I have my sky background. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I did my reactive. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhide that. So you're gonna wanna select all of your keyboard lighting and then instead of choosing a color for your reactive, click on random, that gives it any random color. And then I slowed my speed way down so that the color is visible and it stays lit on the keys for a while before it fades away. And that's all there is to this keyboard lighting design, guys.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys know as soon as I upload new keyboard lighting videos. Don't forget to go and join the Discord channel or the Reddit page and get involved in the community. You can follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter to see teasers of upcoming keyboard lighting videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.